So looking at the operations, to kick off the operations, um, first having the resources, um, operator's guide, operator's toolkit, operator's checklist, operator's training course, ecosystem tools, startup ecosystem develop, uh, developers Facebook group. So some of the resources just sharing uh, a highlight of, of, of what we can then collaboratively develop together uh, as, an, as an under creative commons between different ecosystem operators and what we are already doing as well. So in the operator's guide we have uh, like things like ecosystem development works of planning. So that is something that uh, typically we have conducted and we have the full format of how to how we do ecosystem development workshop where we set in we, we do the ecosystem current assessment, the vision, mission plans and so forth, uh, plans and, and strategies uh, for, for implementing certain applications, initiating the operator functions and so forth. Sponsorships, uh, so startup commons global partners, so specifically like uh, development financiers, uh, like depending on which country and whatnot, uh, there are regions like Asian Development Fund, you know, World Banks, uh, Euro Euro European Commission, of course, and you, uh, you are you name it, there's a lot of those who can provide, uh, but those are not to build, uh, to, to accelerate things, but the foundational things need to be established otherwise. Fundraising help, who to approach, how to approach in a, in a global context, and then also in the local ecosystem context. Attendees, who to invite, how to invite uh, finances and budgeting of this. So these are the, the types of things that we we have available and we can put in as a resources for for the ecosystem uh, operators operators guide for uh, creating uh, some of the actions. Workshop marketing: how to work market that workshop to get the right audience in place, um, how to brand it. So how to make it multi-stakeholder, clear how to combine the ecosystem form thinking and so forth, communication around that, so how to do the messaging, um, getting attendees to join, uh, promoting an outreach, how to uh, work with existing ecosystem organizations on this, uh, managing the workshop, role of a facilitator, workshop schedules, and, and so forth. Further, after the workshop, uh, wrap up emails, templates of those emails, thank you notes, close up the workshop finances, uh, social media, reporting, uh, documents. Uh, we have the, the, the templates around uh, significant uh, knowledge of, uh, uh, of uh, typical ecosystem development initiatives uh, with the context to explain uh, the whole ecosystem development in details is like um, while each of the ecosystems are unique there are certain patterns depending on their maturity the size and uh, their commitment levels and their available budgets where those development initiative uh, what should be done and how should be done uh, typically varies so uh, but having done with more than 30 ecosystems, we have a library of different initiatives and development activities uh, how, to, how to consider uh, based on the findings and the commitments find in the workshops and of course the vision, mission and, and so forth. Other toolkits, so ecosystem built resource, form to sub, uh, forms to submit resource for other workshops to help operators facilitate workshop sessions, organizing team management, uh, master planning document, first team meeting sample agendas, talking points, uh, and so forth. Um, global and local sponsors, we discussed about those as well, communication for them, benefits from them, and so forth. 
operators toolkit more, attendees communication, outreach email template, uh, setting expectations email, downloads for workshop one day before, uh, and so forth. How to put a website together for these activities, key messages, blog posts. We have, we have helped build this more than a few times. Um, and, uh, and the core uh, for us is always make things shareable. So we always think of the IPs at the time when we start doing something. And if there is no reason for something to be non-shareable IP, we always encourage it to be shareable IP and therefore we can build uh, these assets to be shared uh, with other ecosystem operators. So um, promotional pieces and so forth. And, and again, more of the templates, like you can think of Canvas tools with instructions uh, for, for different things. Uh, how to put uh, things together because uh, while ecosystems are unique, the problem for ecosystem orchestration, regardless of what the activities that are prioritized, is the same. The, the, the ecosystem dynamics is similar. They vary between the cultures and, and others, but when we look at the logical real actions to be done, very much the same. So a checklist, and these go both for the for initial, like doing the, the, the kickoff workshop, and then the, the workshops for establishing uh, uh, the ecosystem forum functions, and also how to run the ecosystem forums uh, and related activities in the task force meeting for different topics and so forth. And of course, uh, a key piece for all of this is the operator's uh, training course. Uh, and these videos cover the startup ecosystem development concepts and so forth. So pretty much the whole uh, setup, what we are doing in form of webinars now, uh, as a reusable asset for anyone who is taking part in the ecosystem development effort, either as an ecosystem uh, operator function uh, with further details like we shared on those guides and uh, tools or they are being ecosystem builders or ecosystem developers in their uh, independent capacity as an individual which there are great really committed people out there or they are in taking that type of role as part of their extended role in support function and really it's to to put the presence out and then put all the communication there and find the, the people resources in the part time allocation from committed organization and uh, starting calling the operations and the support uh, group for of course from our side uh, to help ecosystem developers and operators to come together and find the resources, have peer support, knowledge share. Uh, it's our uh, startup ecosystem developers Facebook group. Um, that is, that is uh, we are constantly building as a growing resource uh, or for, for to having dialogue and separately building uh, additional resources for, for this knowledge. Um, and really optimizing uh, everything for, for the sake of trust and belonging. The key element for that is the ecosystem forum uh, concept that we already covered uh, in more detail in the, in the previous one, module. And of course, the point is we can't cover all of the individual tools and templates and documents and so forth uh, in context of, of this webinar. So those are the types of resources that we will combine and build into the uh, knowledge library uh, where we are, where we are uh, then further developing these resources in, to be more scalable. <clears throat> so 
But if we look at just some of the activities for the ecosystem forum task force and uh, or topic functions, so here we have the task force and we have the topic teams. And the point is that some of these activities are cross-cutting, uh, like KPIs, uh, education or, or data infrastructure. Some of these go regardless of the topic. And, uh, and as such, they need to be considered in, in, a, in a matrix way. But here it's about ecosystem and communication. For example, is internal communication and external marketing, the best informed group of people where members should be uh, representing one coordinator for its task force plus communicating uh, communication person. Um, Ecosystem services, so portfolio mapping and design, an ecosystem working model and services. Funding instruments, focus on funding topics, including money and human capital. KPIs and metrics to measure the performance of the ecosystem and individual segments and services to help bring focus and then communicating those for everyone. Uh, digital and data what digital tools and solutions do we use and share the needed information and so forth. So it all starts to come together in a, in a more structured way. And, uh, and then looking at uh, also sharing practices, and this is specifically uh, between the ecosystems, uh, really to, to help find uh, working together across borders and organizations to find the best solutions and regional startup for regional startup ecosystems. So uh, in the context of your own ecosystem, when developing and improving the connectivity within an effective resource use, then of course the same applies across ecosystems. So whether that's a national effort uh, like we're doing in Brazil, uh, where there are multiple states, and of course in each state multiple cities, is how to think of all the design of the operator's activities in such a way where the, the sharing uh, cross-use or is also effective between uh, different states and cities and what should be orchestrated at national level. So when we look at uh, the, the, the challenge for this is same, very much it could happen inside your ecosystem, you could have support services that have challenges. Uh, uh, so when we look at the national level or global level, there's a challenge of how to, how to then collaborate between, to, to even know who wants to collaborate in what parts, in what elements do they want to collaborate on and so forth. So the solution really is to, uh, is when doing things uh, locally, collectively documenting and maintaining a public online master's list, the same should be then extended to, uh, to be shared at national level or global level. And having support functions and development actions are the two key things. So documenting the support functions and their function and role and structures and budgets and things. The similar way as you know, the Startup Weekend is probably the most known in the context and most spread uh, around how everything is included with that. We are doing the same for the ecosystem operator and some of the tools where we work. And we are going to do more and more of that going forward. Uh, but we only do that for the limitations of where specifically the where we feel our knowledge contribution is beneficial and we don't do local level uh, activities too, too much. We do some and we have some because of our history, uh, but we don't do those in volumes, but we do ecosystem level across between ecosystems. And the other one is the development actions. So what development actions, whether they're new policy, new service, new funding instrument, uh, new type of event format was initiated, so, so there was a need to improve something and we did a development action and then there was an outcome, so that project is uh, shareable, documentable and so forth. 
So the solution is really have like a centralized open source project type of shared uh, online model. So the same very much that for the shared IPs uh, or shared applications as open source or our innovation entrepreneurship curriculum uh, as, a, as an educational shared asset. Um, the key is to also build this type of library as a shared uh, format. And this can be as simple as, again, like a well-coordinated Google spreadsheet uh, in the beginning. But of course, uh, because some restrictions are needed to make sure that the information doesn't get um, uh, doesn't get someone, someone breaks it or, or so forth, then probably a tool over time around that will, will help. And the key here is that each practice needs to be documented in a logical way, in a, in a structured way, in the most uh, uh, productized way, in a useful way. So an example of documentation template structure, the key is that uh, it needs to have uh, all the relevant uh, like umbrella structure uh, for all the, the people who need to be involved with that. So whether it's the strategy side, whether it's the finance side, whether it's the operative management or it's the operative teams executing it, each of them have different perspectives to evaluate uh, whether the, the, the shared practice is good or not, or whether it includes useful information or not whether it's applicable or not, whether it's uh, modifiable or not. Uh, and then if it has a cost associated to the best practice beyond just the operational cost, so meaning like a license to, to use someone else's IP of a, of a good practice, uh, it needs to be evaluated what is the, the financial benefit uh, and the strategy perspective the things that this practice will contribute towards, are they part of our ecosystem development practice or economic development practice as such, or if we modify something in it. <clears throat> so we have an example of uh, a fully documented sam sample best practice uh, uh, for a, organizing a shareholder workshop. So, so that's for formation phase, uh, or the, towards the end of formation phase, for the beginning of uh, validation phase, to validate that there actually is a team existing and uh, help to start up co-founders to actually make uh, a, a, a well-structured shareholders agreement. And this is not a legal workshop, uh, so, but this is looking the whole shareholder agreement from a business perspective, from startups view, founders view, uh, intellectual property view, uh, and so forth. But everything is looked through the lens of building a business. <clears throat> so it includes things like uh, uh, ownership allocation, how to build commitment between your team members, uh, and so forth. So we have a sample of documentation of this. And this is of course also available as a Creative Commons curriculum, uh, as well as uh, e-learning uh, licensable content. Um, if you want to have pre-made, uh, or then you can create your own based on the documents and the open, uh, create, uh, open source Creative Commons knowledge uh, to get the assets for free. So, and then when there's a proper documentation, then they consider how the collaboration and transferability will work. So the key is to have uh, that uh, open thinking, uh, create and iterate standard models um, for sharing the documented things in support models and development initiatives uh, and documented concepts should be built up to include all the things as discussed. So now the benefits uh, as, as the everything we work is based on shared knowledge, shared tools to reduce the spending of money uh, by doing uh, repeating or 
copying, repeating things over and over again, rather uh, joining and collaborating and combining budgets to reduce everyone's costs within and between ecosystems. So for different ecosystem development projects to get faster starts, continue spreading value faster, uh, benefits for ecosystems in different regions, increased collaboration and growing global networks, accelerated learnings inside and between ecosystems, lower operating costs, more efficient resource use, and so forth, and really help bring those, develop those standards as well. So the standards in KPIs and data and applications and practices will help improve measurability, comparability, uh, uh, better view into returns of investment of investments in different uh, areas of support functions and so forth and then how to really apply that so some of the basics so to making it openly available if it's not available if it's per request if it's only internally inside of organization it's not effective uh, shared open library where committed parties agree to iterate model and related processes Minimize operate fixed cost to guarantee sustainability. So really, again, uh, not to hire people with project money, um, but to use uh, resources that um, allocate the time from somewhere where there is already sustainability in place, or if the ecosystem operator is far enough to sustain that, and use softwares and applications that have uh, minimal cost of course, a uh, starting point can be something like uh, Google spreadsheets, folders, documents, um, and linking between seats and documents. But over time, that will start, when it starts to grow, it gets hard to manage. So it's better to design and build a custom tool for that. Also to keep the, keep the data in own systems uh, with all controls and so forth. Uh, but that when there is a system in place, then there should be enough users to also say that, okay, let's create that system ourselves between our, our, operate, our own operator resources and software developers with reusable assets and, uh, and then co-maintain that. And, uh, and that's the way to go. But it needs to be, again, step by step to get there. Uh, and here's an example then to look at like uh, new development suggestions. So in the context of ecosystem forum, uh, there should be the, the information always somewhere available, existing development uh, initiatives, uh, progress, what's happening with those. But when someone wants to submit a new, then a simple submit form that has a template model uh, because of the, the form itself. So if they, if someone has an idea and they see, oh, this development initiative doesn't exist, so now I will submit a new, and then it goes to a separate list uh, for suggestions that can be gone through in the ecosystem forum, uh, look, looked at and led specifically by the team that is responsible for the topic, uh, the task force that is uh, responsible for the topic, and then it's a prioritization exercise <clears throat> to see where does it sit among the existing development objectives and this is again something to have in the context of like uh, workshops in, in the ecosystem forum event by the relevant people it can be led by the task force and open for anyone who is taking part of the forum event to, to go and join whichever topics they want to go tribute for uh, doing the prioritization and of course there's always the governance as well to get an additional perspective so this is what forum at large voted it and this is what the governance body who will probably have a uh, more longer term view that's how they vote it and uh, the combination can be the outcome of where it would sit as the next item that to be taken under development so the support um, function template is, is like a standard format, open standard to, to iterate and improve the, the template itself, but really to 
this is for uh, if we want to create a new service function what things uh, that we should document about how that service would look like how does the service uh, KPIs would look like and, uh, and then development initiative uh, in a form of a project for example to establish that service or something else if it's not a service how to how to develop any other initiative so again a template format what is the objective priority initial uh, uh, priority is it to improve something existing or is it a totally to create something new uh, what is the kind of the level of easiness like, like how easy it is to, to create what is the expected impact if we get this created who's the owner looking after this what item are we uh, improving entrepreneurship funding investors uh, ideas what value do we want to improve so that's uh, we want to get 10% increase or we want to get from 1,000 to 2,000. Uh, what is the starting value, the target value? What other outputs and deliverables this will have? Is this targeted for formation phase, validation phase or growth phase? Um, actionable items, what do we actually are going to do? How are we going to do it? How do we measure any other side impacts this will have? Uh, is, if it's existing, where is it happening now? If we create it where it should happen, how is it being measured now? Uh, what are the key challenges? And this is really like a description to, to help open this up. But that's the type of forms to capture the information and get them into the list. And these are the key, two of the key information that is uh, to be coordinate the services and the development initiatives are the, the key elements to be orchestrated uh, as an ecosystem operator and then of course into these attached applications into these attached data from those applications and so forth so when we develop the question is uh, objectives prioritization items so forth uh, and if it's uh, some suggestions is also to what the current services activities uh, are contributing for this uh, and so forth. And then it is the same whether it's existing activity or incoming new improvement idea. So if it's something, whatever it comes, check from the list if it's already there, uh, what other activities already exist because Unfortunately, what happens is that there's so much in the ecosystem context that nobody knows what's happening. Development initiatives is one of those that are very highly un un unvisible, like really opaque, not knowing who's doing what, for, for what, uh, who has done something. Uh, that, uh, that's why many things actually are redone, recreated, uh, reinvented and uh, that if nothing else is the worst kind of uh, wasted effort is that something was already done with full budget full outcomes whether it was successful or not someone actually comes and redoes the whole thing so that's 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 not very efficient so there's a lot of places to dive in and find <clears throat> the values and the outputs uh, to justify the financial sustainability of an ecosystem operator function. And to get there is a step-by-step -step combination of getting uh, a, a sustainable by design strategy in place and then uh, starting to do that, starting to look some of these different applications, ideas, concepts, doing more of that, accelerating with additional funding, donations, you know, project funding, applications to different uh, things, but having the big picture in mind, what picture are we completing with all of these efforts instead of like random, let's do this, let's do that, and no holistic uh, 
perspective kept uh, in an in a ongoing uh, way. So using the types of help, help tools like this uh, development framework, so are we trying to improve the innovation and its volume? Or are we trying to improve the, the innovation quality? Or are we trying to improve the quality of our support functions? Or are we trying to improve the velocity of money? Um, and so forth. So this is the, the, the ecosystem orchestration um, development initiative uh, kind of uh, key uh, simplification. What values are we trying to improve and what items uh, we are looking to improve and then having a simple way to communicate these things in a templated way. So template different document, uh, template driven development and uh, documentation driven development. So 